Hi everyone, in today's video I will be showing you how to use two very useful commands to extract data out from your web application. So let's take a look at those commands in UI Vision's very useful online documentation. Now these two commands are actually part of the Selenium IDE commands. Um, and if on the documentation you can see here, if we drill into that and we search for the um, commands, they are source extract and source search. Okay, now what do these commands do? So source extract, you can see that it is used to extract data and store it in a variable. Um, and source search is really to extract the number of matches uh, of that uh, text that you're searching and store that number into a variable. So for today's video, I've created a sample invoice using Google Docs and published that invoice as a web page. And in the invoice, as you can see here, I have multiple items, but what I'm interested in are the toy car entries, and there are two of them in this invoice. So let's start by copying the URL to the forum and open up UI Vision. And I'm creating a new macro here, I'll give it a name. And the first um, command that I'm going to put into this UI Vision macro is to open up the URL so that the form gets loaded onto the screen. Okay, so just to make sure it works, so play macro and you can see the form opens in the background. Okay, and now what we do is we add the second step, which is to add the source extract command. Okay, or the source search. Let's start with the source search. And for target, that is where we specify whatever it is we are looking for. And in this case, we are looking for the toy car entries. So you can see um, the toy car entry has toy car and the number five and the price with a dollar sign in front of it. So let's put that in. So we can search for um, toy car as you see there. Now, and then we put a, an, an asterisk uh, because, you know, there could be spaces in between um, and there's that five in between the toy car and the dollar sign so we put a star uh, asterisk asterisk dollar sign and asterisk again and this will essentially allow us to look for um, the toy car entries okay and what we do is save that the number if you remember source search returns the number of matches so we'll save that into a variable called source search results okay we'll run that and if you go to the variable tabs up, you'll see, okay, so we got zero results there, means something is wrong with my um, search. Okay, let's quickly take a look at my web page again and turn on the inspect tab. And once we have the inspect tab open, we can see the HTML behind the web page. And you can see that I have all these different entries. I have the toy car entry. And I think I just spotted the mistake. Um, the toy car um, is, is spelled with a un, with a with a small car, uh, with a, uh, a small C and not a capital C. So that is the problem. Let's save that now and just run again to see what we get. All right, so we tried it again and now, yep. okay, so now we can see that the source search has found two matches uh, that matches the pattern that I put there. So let's do a source extract and a source extract is to actually pull out that data out from uh, the web page into a variable. Okay, and I'll do the same search. I put a toy car, star, dollar sign and star again. Okay, and then I'll save that result into another variable called um, source extract first result. All right, um, save. Now, because there are two occurrences, um, I could tell UI Vision to save a second result uh, using the ampersand two sign there. 
Yeah, so I can say source extract second result and save it. Okay, now let's play the macro and let's very quickly take a look. Uh, yep, it's finished running. And if we scroll down to the result, we can see that it captured the entry, but it stopped at the dollar sign. Um, and it did not capture anything after the dollar sign. Um, and that's an issue because we want to capture the price, right? Um, and if you notice that the target we put is dollar sign star. So what we need to do is to put a right hand side boundary to let UI Vision know to capture the price as well. And in this case, the right hand side boundary would be the slash TD HTML tag. Okay, now that we have done that, let's just save it and let's replay the macro. Okay, that's done. Let's inspect the result and you can see now it actually captures the $60 and the $50 as well. Okay, so now, well, what we really wanted to do is to capture the price alone. Um, you know, but, but so far what we have been doing is we are capturing the entire row. So what we want to do now is use an execute script command. And with the execute script command, we can write a JavaScript function to extract the dollar value out. And we'll start by declaring a new variable, str. And for this str, we're going to reference the value uh, that we pulled out earlier using the source extract uh, command. Okay, so we're going to pull out the first result, which we put in the source extract first result variable. Okay, and we reference that in the JavaScript here. Then we are going to use the substring command on the that source extract first result that we captured earlier. And the reason why we substring is because we just want to capture the dollar value out from that whole row that we captured earlier. The substring command takes in two parameters. And the first parameter is where we want to start the substring from. So in this case, we are looking for the index where you know the dollar sign first appears in that row. And that's why the first parameter is the dollar sign. The second parameter is essentially where you want the substring to end. And in this case, that will be the length of the entire row. Okay, so now let us just return the value of str um, to UI vision. And in UI vision, we'll store it into a variable. Let's just call it the first, pr uh, first price. Okay, and we save it. Okay, replay the macro and let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see that we get managed to capture the substring, but it includes the dollar sign and includes the right boundary, the TD that we uh, captured earlier in the row. So we need to fix that. And to do that, we'll go back to the JavaScript that we wrote, and we need to do a little bit more coding here. Okay, so first we create another variable, which is the index of the TD boundary. All right, so in this case, we look for uh, the index of the TD tag. And then what I want to do is create another substring, run another substring to remove the TD tag. But we also want to remove the dollar sign and that's why we start the substring from index one because we know the first character is the dollar sign and we do not want that. Okay. And now instead of returning str, we're returning the final variable. Okay, 
let's play the script and now if we go back down we can see the first result price is $50 as we saw there next let's do the same for the second result and in this case we just duplicate that JavaScript again and just go and edit the JavaScript but this time round instead of substringing the first result we substring the second result just make sure we need to update that okay okay and I'm gonna save it into a second result price variable save the script let's play the macro again okay oops there is a problem there um, and if we look into the JavaScript uh, oh yeah we realized that uh, I named the variable without a T so there was a mistake there okay corrected that let's just do it again yep now it runs fine and if you look at the variable you'll see that we are actually capturing both the, the both the prices of both the rows that we pulled out from source extract and that's it uh, folks so in today's video we saw how to use the source extract and the source search commands uh, together with some JavaScript uh, so that we can extract the data we want from the rows uh, that we see on the screen and as usual, if you like what you see today and you want to know more and learn more about UI Vision, uh, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to my channel uh, as I'll be posting more and more videos over time. Thank you. Bye.